Toyota, GM, and Subaru all revealed a new $8,000 pickup truck, and it will shock you because it already shocked the entire industry. Each are unique and very different, so let's just dive right in. The Toyota IMV Zero This bad boy puts practicality and affordability on a pedestal, starting at a mere $8,000, making it the knight in shining armor for folks needing a trusty ride without breaking the bank. But that's not all in terms of design. This thing is breaking the mold with flat glazing all around, from the windshield to the side and rear windows, giving it that no-frills, no-nonsense vibe. The bed? It's a flatbed, of course, with options to soup it up with some side upgrades if you're feeling a bit fancy. And hey, depending on where you're at, you might even score some optional anti-lock braking airbags. And get this, you still get to crack your windows like it's the good old days. They made it clear for everyone, and you shouldn't expect a tech wonderland here. We're talking about a basic cabin layout with controls that are as minimalistic as they come. Touchscreen? No. Automatic climate control? Not a chance. But fear not, because standard air conditioning is here to save the day. Now for the heart of the beast. While they're keeping some details under wraps, rumors have been flying around and this thing is expected to be likely packing a 2-liter, 139-horsepower, 4-cylinder gas engine, paired with a 5-speed manual transmission for that old-school feel. And in terms of size, it's not messing around, measuring in at 18.4 feet long, putting it right up there with a Toyota Tacoma and boasting an extra-long cargo bed spanning a solid 6 feet. This is what the CEO said. The IMV Zero truck is our way of ensuring that owning a reliable and durable vehicle is not a luxury, but a necessity for all. In short, they're promising the famous Toyota reliability on their cheapest product. They've thrown everything at it, rigorously testing and tweaking, until it meets their sky-high standards. If you ask me, this is something that's going to revolutionize your idea of trucks. Yeah, even more than the classics like the Tacoma and Tundra. Toyota's latest beast isn't just a truck, it's a canvas waiting for your creative touch. Because here's the kicker, this truck isn't your run-of-the-mill pickup. Oh no, it's as unconventional as it gets. You won't mistake it for an F-150 or a Maverick, and that's by design. Toyota's not just aiming for a slice of the market, they're tossing the rulebook and saying, you do you, and that's the game-changer right there. Just think about the possibilities. For just eight grand, you could snag one of these bad boys and turn it into a roaming food empire, a cozy little diner on wheels, or heck, even your own mobile pad. That's the beauty of it. Endless possibilities, limited only by your imagination. And that, my friends, is what sets this truck apart. With its cavernous cargo space, it's not just a vehicle. It's a blank canvas begging for your personal stamp. But there is a problem availability. This ride won't be hitting the roads in the US at the moment. It's all about catering to those developing markets, giving them the essentials without making them break the bank. So, if you're looking for a no-frills, get-the-job-done kind of truck, the Toyota IMV Zero might just be your ticket to ride. Well, unless you live in the US, you have to wait. But don't worry, because there is another option, and if you ask me, a better one. The Subaru Brat Subaru Brat, my friends, is back from the automotive afterlife, and it's strutting onto the scene with more swagger than a rock star at a sold-out stadium, and an amazing performance. Even the base model, which comes with a slick 2-liter 4-cylinder boxer engine, is able to dish out an impressive 180 horses and 200 pound-feet of torque. To be honest with you, this is beyond enough for your daily activity. But if you want to ride with even more power, then you can go for the premium model, which roars to life with a beefier 2.4-litre, turbocharged 4-cylinder boxer engine. And this setup delivers a jaw-dropping 250 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque. That's not just power, it's a symphony of speed. But Subaru's not just about raw power, they're also planning on a hybrid powertrain. Imagine cruising the streets with a hybrid level of fuel efficiency, all while still getting that trademark Subaru all-wheel drive thrill. It's like having your cake and eating it too. Now, some skeptics might raise an eyebrow looking at Subaru stepping into the ring with the big dogs, Ford's Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz, and think that it's like bringing a slingshot to a gunfight. But is it really? 
This thing is a beast with a towing capacity of around 2,500 pounds and a payload capacity of around 1,000 pounds on the base model alone. There are a lot of truck buyers who crave more than just compact size. We want practicality, functionality, and the power to come with it. And guess what? The Brat is just that. This legend comes with all-wheel drive as standard. Pair that with Subaru's trusty Boxer 4 engine, nestled low for stability, and you're not just getting from A to B, you're embarking on a journey. Plus, the Brat has something that the current compact market desperately needs – off-road capability. And durability? The Brat's got it in. Sure, there have been hiccups with the Boxer 4's engine head gaskets in the past, but it's still leagues ahead of anything out there on the market. But hold your horses, there is a catch. It's only available as a two-door option. If you think about it, it's not a bad thing by itself because by going two-door, Subaru is ensuring that the bed size is large. And that just makes sense because what's the point of a truck with such power if it can't haul serious cargo? Sure, it's not everyone's choice to be restricted, but don't be surprised when the Brat starts snatching up Maverick customers while Ford's scrambling to keep up. But that's not all. The other Detroit giant is also making a move. GM Montana Originally, the Chevrolet Montana was a compact truck, but hey, times change, and so does GM. When big trucks stole the spotlight, the Montana took a back seat because, let's face it, nobody was checking for it. But now, it's like the universe did a 180, because now smaller trucks are the hip thing. So guess what? The Montana's strutting its stuff back on the scene. But hold on to your hats, because this comeback is a whole new ball game, and Mary Barra herself has laid down the law. No cutting corners here, folks. They're all about giving the people what they crave, right? That's the golden rule. And when it comes to reliability, GM's track record speaks for itself. You better believe they're not about to tarnish their reputation just to churn out some cheap wheels. This bad boy is tailor-made for those who crave the perfect blend of power, reliability, versatility, and efficiency. Sure, it might not be the flashy ride you flaunt all over social media, but let's be real, it's easy on the eyes. Think of it as your wallet-friendly alternative to those monstrous, bank-account-draining trucks. And there's more to this ride than meets the eye. It might not be trying to win any rodeos, but it'll hold its own in the all-day-to-day -day hustle. Because under the hood, there is a custom-calibrated, 1.2-litre turbocharged engine. It's like a pocket-sized dynamo with 133 horsepower and 155 pound-feet of torque. This little powerhouse is ready to play. And for transmissions, you've got options. A six-speed manual that's for the ones who want to feel every gear shift like a secret handshake and an automatic transmission option if you're all about smooth moves. This thing is just amazing, and its crew cab body rocks Chevrolet's global design language. And let me tell you, it's got more curves than a winding mountain road. Those sleek organic lines? They're like the strokes of a master artist, creating an aerodynamic masterpiece. And that raised cargo bed? It's not just practical, it's a statement. For the front end, it borrowed inspiration from the Chevy Blazer, Bold, assertive, and ready to turn heads. And the black plastic cladding adds a rugged touch, like the Montana just rolled out of a wilderness adventure. But there's more. The top-tier variants flaunt roof rails and a sports bar above the bed. It's like the Montana went to a custom tailor and said, Give me the superhero suit, but make it fashion. And the multi-flex cargo bed is like a Swiss army knife on steroids, with 30 cubic feet of space. Plus, this bed isn't just a one-trick pony. It's got more accessories than a tech-savvy spy. Need tie-downs? Check. Want dividers to keep your gear organized? Double-check. All this comes for just $8,000, which is exactly what the market needed. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.